Welcome to Science, Health and Healing Encyclopedia of Children's Health Corps and Ali Academy. I'm Dr. Majid Ali. The subject of this article is what does juvenile rheumatoid arthritis teach about the heart? What does juvenile rheumatoid arthritis teach about the heart? My oxygen model of heart disease states that at its core, oxygen dysfunction is the root of heart diseases of all kinds. Dysfunctional oxygen signaling, impaired oxygen detergent functions, distorted oxygen differentiated and cell repair functions, marred oxygen driven mitochondrial ATP energy generation, and of course, oxygen driven detox functions. Juvenile rheumatoid arthritis is a chronic inflammatory condition affecting the children. Sometimes, most of the time, of course, it affects the joints, small joints, multiple joints. But sometimes I have seen cases of juvenile rheumatoid arthritis exclusively affecting the eyes and causing serious visual loss. Doctors usually treat pediatric juvenile rheumatoid arthritis with anti-inflammatory, then steroids, then chemotherapy drugs like methotrexate or cytoxin, which is very unfortunate. In my experience, juvenile rheumatoid arthritis is a disease of chronic inflammation caused by mold allergy, mold toxins, food allergy, gut fermentation, leaky gut state, and chronic inflammation in the body caused by a combination of any of these factors. My oxygen model of heart disease also says that at a level below oxygen, heart disease is fundamentally a problem of inflammation. So any disease which starts in childhood and is characterized by persistent, unrelenting inflammation as juvenile rheumatoid arthritis is, unless holistically, integratively, you detect all the relevant factors and address them, is going to do what? What's the prediction? The prediction is that unless these, this disease is controlled by natural ways which stabilize and normalize the immune system and the inflammatory response, these children will grow up to have early heart disease, more frequent heart disease, more rapidly progressive heart disease. You know, these predictions that I make, they are so simple to make. Please watch the companion program. What does childhood obesity teach us about the heart? There's another one. What does HIV virus teach us about the heart disease? And as you begin to watch these programs, you'll have a deeper sense of the importance of my oxygen models of various diseases. Not only it deepens our understanding, but it gives us a workable simplicity to cope with maddening complexity of disease processes so that the tissues can heal, we can detoxify. That's the message of this. Please visit www.kids123.org and tell us how you can participate in our effort to provide authentic information, free of cost, to children all over the world untainted by corporate deceptions and ideological distortions. That's our mission. Thank you for joining me. Please do join us soon. Thank you.